basically you should say you can have given you can have given it to the people or the king because they would make a lot of money for that and you would get a lot of money and to you could spend that in lots of cases because he was being old and he was about to die in a few years but he didn't listen to the people after some weeks he just he woke up and he didn't find his horse people used to people thought that he's his horse got stolen and they used to say that we told you to sell the horse or get rid of it away with it but you never listened to us and that's why you're now in trouble you lost your horse and you don't even have the money of that if you had sold it and listened to us then you would have, you would have got the money the old man just said my horse never ran away it is just it has just gone somewhere. It's not stolen. It would never be stolen. It has gone somewhere on purpose, and it would surely return on time. After a few weeks, a miracle happened. The horse returned with a horse of horses. Basically, in that horse, the uh, hog, there were a lot of horses, including the uh, from the species of that horse. There were almost like a dozen of horses, which were the family members of that horse. The horses came to the old man's house. The old man, as well as the people in the village, were really surprised. After a few days, the old man tried to convince everyone that he, Destiny favored him this time. But everyone else said, this is normal, blah, blah, blah. They didn't listen to him. After a few weeks, the old man told his son to ride a uh, horse. He was teaching him to ride a horse to go farther ways. But his son didn't listen to him. And... Uh, but still, he wanted to make him some do that, so he told his son to like sit on the horse and try to ride it. But as soon as his son rode on the horse, the horse just kicked him and just made him fall uh, off him, and that made his uh, his son's hands and legs got broken. That's why the people at the village used to say, "Your son lost your his hands. That's really misfortunate, and that's really unlucky for him. That's not get a good thing." And blah blah blah. They used to spread propaganda about him, but the old man never listened. He just used to say, "Luck with favor. Sometimes just keep patience." So after a few weeks, a like war started, and that was the time when the king went to everyone's house and picked a adolescent or a person who is able to fight and they picked uh, a person from every single house but not from the old man's because the old one was too old to fight and his son just broke his leg that's why his son got uh, back from the, like his son got saved and most of the people who went to the war got uh, like died because they lost in the war and the other team got triumph topic I selected is uh, I received a gift. From whom I received a gift. I uh, choose okay. the topic. So, you know the rule. You need to complete the task or whatever you will continue or share, you must complete it within two minutes. Or you, you need to try to speak up to two minutes. Okay. Uh, in the exam hall or in real um, IELTS exam, uh, they will allow you to continue but not more than two minutes. Within two minutes, they'll tell you to stop. Yeah, so your time starts now. You can start right now. Okay. Okay. So recently, I just received a gift from my mom that is a scarf. This is not like a very valuable for you, but it is really valuable for me because my mom gift it and uh, so that I like it so very much. I don't even ask for her, but she just give me uh, oh my, uh, that's for you. So I like it most. And then the thing is why this is important. But this is important for me because my mom gave it. So it's really important for me. That's the thing, really. And I, why I like it? I like it because the color and my mom gave it twice. Yeah, thank you, Mezabin, but uh, you must try to continue. Uh, you, you see that the, actually you are talking about a gift, so you can um, just describe it in different ways. Just like uh, you just missed the part, what was the gift? 
um, how it is looked like or how it was or when uh, or which occasion your mom gave it to you and uh, what is the purpose what is the reason your mom gifted you there are so many things you can elaborate so the things you need to do for this task you must continue up to two minutes yeah, okay no issues thank you my Jabin. that's me have you selected any topic yes sir i have selected the same topic uh, i mean that the gift or present i have already received okay so give me a minute uh Samhan, you need to follow the stopwatch okay you will yeah. see how long she can yeah go. okay okay yes yeah, so are you ready yes sir i'm ready yeah so you can start someone uh, sorry that's me yeah no problem so hello everyone myself that's my islam a uh, few days ago i had that gift from my elder sister and it's a spiritual book you know i become so happy uh, getting the gift because i love to to say this book and uh, it's it's very important for us it's also very important for our inner skills so in the story book i uh, i got that i got a lot of short stories i think there are almost 60 stories in the fairy book and i want to share the first story it's named brave hari a long time ago a poor shepherd lived with his daughter hari they lived on the highest mountain where is where it was always cold and snowing so one evening the shepherd and curry heard a loud banging on the door they were surprised because a blizzard was roaring outside uh, who could be visiting them at such an hour when curry opened the door a huge full of bear stayed inside it told the shepherd that if you give me your daughter curry i will make you rich curry agreed to go with the bear while on the way uh, to the bear, uh, bear home, it told that uh, it was actually a handsome prince, cursed by an evil troll. Uh, then a miracle happened that uh, the troll took Alec Harry and trapped the prince in a palace, which was far uh, away and not easily reached. The sad prince sent a message to Curry though a little sparrow the troll wants to marry his nasty daughter sells his shirt and remove the three spot of magic of it and read the message so while uh, the when the troll was asleep Kari stole the shirt from the cupboard and then she cleaned the spot of the magic from the shirt uh, the troll burst into the flame i think it's a type of black black magic and uh, the troll was a magician. Uh, then the prince was free of the troll curse, and uh, then he married Curry. Curry became a queen, and they lived happily thereafter. So uh, this is a very, this is a story, and I told the summary of the story. And I like this story so much because um, the stories are really so um, what I will say. The story is really so fine, and if you want to um, ask about this story, I will tell that the bear who was become a prince, he was uh, uh, got a really trouble because I already said that a magician or evil uh, troll trapped the prince in a palace. And I, I also want to uh, say that Hari was a really brave and brilliant uh, uh, lady. So, um, and I want to also share that in the, story, in the storybook, I had a lot of story and I think I will uh, read this story and I will share with you guys. That's all for me, sir. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. I think you have exceeded more than two minutes. I think three minutes. Salam Khan? Three and a half minutes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Tasmiya. Pushpita, are you there? Yes, sir. Do you want to share right now? Have you selected your topic? Yes, I have selected my topic. Yes, uh, so you can start. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's me, Pushpita Dasso. 
I'm going to share about a very important person in my life who taught me literally so many important things. Uh, I would like to mention my father, who especially taught me how to play chess and how to speak English fluently. Nowadays, it feels very important for me. Maybe if I didn't practice how to speak English naturally with, from my childhood with my father, I can't be here or take part in British Council program. Again, my father taught me how to play chess. We enjoy play, uh, playing chess every day, and it has been my favorite game. But I, uh, I'm just attached with this game, but I didn't think about I can get certificate for playing my favorite game, but I got it unexpectedly. I want to give this all glory to my father. He's a very important person in my life who taught me not only this, but also so many important things to progress in life. Yeah, that's all from your part, Pushpita. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. You did really well this time, Saum Khan. One How minute and eight seconds. Do? One, One minute, minute and eight seconds. Eight. Eight seconds. Okay. Um, our next participant is Safiya Moshe. Are you ready to share? Okay. So, I actually didn't... I actually couldn't prepare anything because of my exam, but I can try. No problem. Yeah, you don't need preparation, I think. You can start. Okay. So, uh, today I'm going to share is a gift that someone gave me that I really liked. Uh, so, actually, I love receiving gifts. And who doesn't? Besides, uh, exchanging gifts among ourselves is a great tradition in our part of the world. So, uh, there is a story behind this. Uh, it, it was a lot of them. So, I think uh, <laughs> uh, I was in class one or AG at that time. It's a silly story. So, uh, <laughs> so at that time uh, it was my birthday uh, and as I was so younger at that time I always see everyone to uh, exchange gifts, giving gifts taking gifts so and uh, many people of uh, my, my friends, my family and a lot of members uh, who always try to give me, give me a lot of things and always try to they always try to surprise me and at that time um, how, as I was younger so I wanted a gift then and my father and mother somehow they forgot it they forgot my birthday as they are so busy and I don't actually uh, yeah, don't become sick because uh, it's normal they can forget it because they have a lot of work to do. They have mental pressure. So um, at that time, uh, so as I was younger, so I wanted a gift. And I told my father that uh, I want a gift. You have to buy a gift for me. And I think at that time I was uh, a little bit busy. So uh, in the morning I, I cried for gift and uh, then uh, my father told me, okay, uh, let's see, what can I do for you? So after that, um, I went to my school as I had school. So, and I had private extra classes. So a lot of things. And I think um, I went back home at uh, in the evening and uh, uh, and I was very really suspicious to, uh, like see the gift. So, um, when I got my phone, and I, I was trying to find it, where is it, where is it, where is it? So I was finding, find the searching it for a long time, <clears throat> and 
um, my, my our house a whole uh, like told me to told me that your father brought gifts for you and uh, uh, and uh, he gave the like, food secret clip and I was I was just like where I have to find it and I was really very interested to see it. So um uh I was and I found that really tape so um and uh I So can you hear me? Yeah, you can start as many. So I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to share a story I'll give about a present, a gift which I given to my one of my teachers. She, she was my home tutor. So uh, on before the last day of our class, I shared with my cousin. My also, my teacher taught my, me and my cousin, so I shared with my cousin that I think we should give, give something to our teacher. So she told me, yes, of course, this is a great idea, but what we will buy. Then 